Yo, so in this one, I'm gonna show you how to transfer your media footage from your Insta360 Ace Pro 2 to a MacBook. Okay, so the first method, we're gonna use a cable. So we've got a camera here, computer's all set up and running. And what we're gonna do is we are going to, you need a USB-C to USB-C cable. And then <clears throat> you'll notice on the Ace 2, we have two doors. We've got one side of the battery, and one smaller door for the SD card and the cable. So we're gonna pull down this tab, open this up. And then first of all, we're gonna turn the camera on, plug the camera into your camera, and then plug the other end into your MacBook. And you should get a prompt. Once I'm connected to a Mac, you'll see here it's asking to allow the connection. Click allow. And then on your camera, you'll get a number of different options like this. So you wanna click U disk mode, and now this is gonna make the SD card readable by your computer. So go back to the Mac, you'll notice here top left, we've got uh, untitled disk, and then we have all our files on here. And it's just a case of, I like to sort by kind, and then you can sort through which footage you want, and then simply just drag it to your desktop or whichever folder that you uh, want the final destination to be. And then the second way to transfer media from the camera to the Mac is by using a card reader. So we're gonna take the card out this time. So same door as we were using before to add our cable into, slide it open. And you'll see inside there we have the SD card as well. And you're just gonna use your thumbnail, push down to release and then pull the card out. There we go. And then I'll just show you on the back of my Mac, I actually have a fancy little, well not fancy, a bit of a mess behind here. I have an SD card reader here little micro SD card reader, which I actually velcro to the back of my Mac just to save space. Uh, I'm gonna just slide that in there. And then that is just connected to my MacBook. And then the same process applies here. And then there it is again, top right. And then same process as you would do with a cable. So if you found that tutorial useful guys, be sure to check out any of these videos up here, which you should recommend to check out next, as well as some of my other Insta360 in action camera tutorial guides. There's also some useful links in the description below as well.